Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to, to use the netgroup function in AllCAD Capture. So for a long time, AllCAD Capture has, has kind of had a restriction in a way that if you've got a bus like this, this kind of data bus here or this address bus here, the, the, the bus name here must always equal effectively the same name as the member. So, you know, d 0 to d 7 I've got the bus name of d 0 to d 7 So what uh, Cadence did in version 16.5 was give you the ability to add a netgroup. So what we can do is we can use the, the place net group function. We can then add a net group. So we're going to give a net group name. So I'm going to call this um, DDR3. Now this is just an example, just to kind of give you an idea of the general principle of using the net group function. So the exact members of the DDR3 bus won't be exact, but it basically gives you the ability to add different members to this bus. So I can say, right, I need to have effectively an address set of lines, A0 to A7, and I want to add these effectively as a bus. So I'm going to add that item and that then becomes a member of the, the net group. So let's do and we'll add a 8 to 15 and then we'll also add the data bus. So I'm going to add D 0 to 7 and also D 8 to 15. Now, because I've got some individual wires here as well, I can also add those into this group. So we, we can effectively add, I don't know, let's add, a, let's add a strobe line, for example, and that's going to be a scalar connection. And then I'm also going to add a, a clock line. So that then gives me the members of my, my effectively my, my bus that I want to use. So it then goes and creates this. Now, what this does is it actually adds it to the design cache. Um, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, but the basic principle is there's my net group with all the different members in. So I can select the net group. It's an instance name of DDR3 and I want to place a net group block. And you've got options to export this out as an XML file as well if you want. You can import XML files. So you can actually transfer this from design to design. If I click OK then the, the cursor changes similar to the way that the hierarchical block is drawn and I can then go and draw a window. And you can see I then get the members. So there's the effectively the input members and then there's one output member which is a, an accumulation of all these nets here. So then it's just a matter of kind of moving this around to connect it up. So what my uh, so my clock line there, the strobe line there, and then I want the A0 to A15, my D0 to D15 is at the bottom, and then I want uh, D0 to D7, A0 to A7. Just the same way that you would do a hierarchical block. We'll move the output up here, and you can kind of obviously resize this box as well, so you can just kind of make it a bit more realistic size wise and then just move the block you'll see the connection points I've now made a connection now what you'll notice is the bus then increases in thickness so just to give you an idea if I delete that that goes back to a bus member if we effectively add a so let's place a, a bus we'll just wire that back in it then goes into this kind of net group function now to connect this is exactly the same way as you would connect a bus we will place a, an off page connector there's an off page connector left the difference is that now there's a, this option for net group off page so we'll check that and then give it a name and then we can place this down move it out and then I've got effectively the output from this page if we then go to page 2 I can also use the place net group function the net groups already there so I can then just check it I want to place a net group block effectively draw OK and it's the same principle I get the cross here there's my members I can this time I can do a right mouse button mirror so let's mirror it around so I get the members on the right side of the page and then let's just move these members around. So I've got my clock and my strobe. D0 to D7 and the A15s. And then we'll move this back in. We'll add another off-page connector. Make sure it's a net group off-page. Give it the same name. And then we'll just move that to connect it up. Okay, so there's my, my net group blocks effectively. So what we'll do then now is we'll just save the design and we'll create a net list. So we'll just go and send this directly into PCB Editor. I'll create a blank board and then say okay. <coughs> uh, we'll pick AllCAD. And there's the imported board. So we can then do a place manually. There's my my five ICs that I can actually just come and place down quickly just kind of give you an idea but if we look at constraint manager now what's happened is that these items have now been grouped under one bus item so we've now got a bus item called DDR3 with the different members and you can obviously see DDR3 with the address lines the clock line the data lines and the strobe 